coming around the far turn. And the 1963 winner of the Gold Cup, the youngster from Akron, Ohio, Ron Mussett. Driving Miss Bardall, and here's the winner, U40. Between 1959 and 1966, Ron Musson left an indelible mark of excellence on the sport of unlimited hydroplane racing. In 47 races entered, Musson scored 16 victories. He is perhaps best remembered for being the first driver in 30 years to win the crown jewel of power boating, the APBA Gold Cup, three times in a row. Ron advanced to the unlimited ranks after an outstanding career in the limited inboard classes. His tenure with the smaller hydroplanes resulted in many trophies and championships with such famous craft as Chromium and Chromate for owner Frank Hearn. It was to the surprise of no one that Musson made the transition to racing's big time with ease. In only his second unlimited class appearance, Ron claimed his first of many victories. This was the 1959 Indiana Governor's Cup on the Ohio River in Madison with Joe Mascari's Pink Lady, Hawaii Kai III. During 1960, Musson divided his time between Mascari's Hawaii Kai III and Samuel F. DuPont's Nitrogen II. The Kai was up in years and somewhat past her prime, but Ron still prevailed to power her into the winner's circle at the Reno Regatta on Pyramid Lake. With Nitrogen II, he captured the O.J. Mulford Silver Cup on the historic Detroit River. This latter triumph was especially satisfying inasmuch as Nitrogen II was powered by a substantially stock Allison aircraft engine. With the retirement from racing of both the Mascari and the DuPont teams after 1960, Ron was left temporarily without a ride, but not to worry. No driver of Musson's caliber was likely to languish on the sidelines for very long. Pretty soon came the call from Ole Bardal that was to change Ron's life and put him back where he belonged, at the wheel of a top-notch Thunderbolt. In his first appearance with the Bardal organization, Musson took a boat that hadn't won a race in three years and drove it to an impressive victory in the World's Championship Seafair Trophy on Seattle's Lake Washington. Here she comes, the world's fastest racing boat, Miss Bardal, winner of the 1961 World Championship. In Seattle, Washington, this powerful hydroplane raced 45 grueling miles, broke all records on a three-mile course. Speeds up to 160 miles an hour in the straightaways, 90 in the turns. Bouncing, flying, smashing into waves, but always roaring back. A frightening test of machine, of lubrication, and of the men who drive these big boats. Driver Ron Musson and Miss Bardall proved he had the stuff. When traffic got heavy, he fought on the coals, and Miss Bardall responded like a champion. A world champion. I've never had any engine perform better in my life than this Bartle engine did in this world championship race. Like all race drivers, whether we're on water or land, we're only as good as our equipment. That's why most of us use Bartle, whether we're driving in a race or driving in our own personal cars. Bartle really works. It'll work for you, too. Add Bartle to your gas and oil. Get all the power you paid for. Beginning in 1962, Musson made his competitive presence felt with the new Green Dragon. In partnership with crew chief Leo Vandenberg, Ron captured 11 first place trophies with the 1962 vintage Miss Bardall, which would rival the Miss Thriftway as one of the first boats to represent successfully a commercial sponsor on a major scale. In 1962, Muncie's Miss Century 21, the renamed Miss Thriftway, was really on a roll. Bill won the first five races and finished first in every heat of those races. Musson and Miss Bardall, after some fine tuning during the season, snapped Miss Century 21's win streak and claimed victory in Harris Tahoe Trophy at State Line, Nevada. The triumph on Lake Tahoe served notice that Ron Musson and Miss Bardall would be a team to be reckoned with in 1963. And they were. For the next three years, Musson and the Green Dragon were the undisputed class of unlimited racing. Other teams would occasionally win races, but Ron was always a factor and never gave up the lead for very long. Musson started the 1963 campaign off on the right foot with a victory in the Alabama Governor's Cup at Guntersville. Then he won his first Gold Cup in a stellar performance in Detroit. Ron reeled off three first place heat finishes and one second place to outscore Bill Cantrell and Gale Five, 1,500 points to 1,400. 
It was a memorable day of racing that saw Miss Bardall thoroughly outclass arch rival Miss Thriftway, which faded to a disappointing sixth. Then something happened that wasn't in the script. After a second place finish at Seattle, Musson sustained minor injuries in a test run at Madison and had to relinquish the Miss Bardall's wheel for the last three races of the season to Don Wilson. The boat went on to capture the National High Point Championship, but the Driver Championship went to Cantrell, who won no races but had finished in second place five times. Ron rebounded with a vengeance and would not be denied in 1964. He won the Gold Cup at Detroit, the Dakota Cup at Newtown, North Dakota, the Seafair Trophy, and Harris Tahoe Trophy. Musson likewise took second place in the Diamond Cup at Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, the President's Cup in Washington, D.C., and the San Diego Cup. For his overall performance throughout 1964, Ron won his first National High Point Driver Championship in the Unlimiteds. For 1965, Musson planned to drive a radical new Miss Bardall. But when the new flagship couldn't be readied in time, the 1962 hull was unretired, given a quick refurbishing, and sent out for one final date with Thunderboat Destiny. Ron and the Miss Bardall skipped the first race of the year at Guntersville and then took a disappointing third at Coeur d'Alene. Then a month later at Seattle, Musson and Miss Bardall were back in the winner's circle, where they claimed their third and final Gold Cup in a row. This had not happened since George Reese had three consecutive wins in 1933, 34, and 35 with El Legardo. Although in her fourth season, the old dragon could still make it to the bank on Monday morning with Ron Musson as driver. And just to prove that the Gold Cup was not a fluke, Ron guided Miss Bardall to victory in the Bonneville Regatta at Ogden, Utah, the Lake Tahoe World Championship Regatta, and the San Diego Cup en route to another National High Points crown. And on the last day of the season on San Diego's Mission Bay, Musson and Miss Bardall became the first team to average a race at 115.056 miles per hour, a heat at 116.079, and a competition lap at 117.870 on a three-mile course. Not only did Ron win 11 races in four years with the 1962 Miss Bardall, he did so against some of the most formidable opposition in modern memory. One of the most distinguished careers in motorsports history came to an untimely conclusion on June 19, 1966. Although his life ended in that tragic President's Cup, Ron Musson is remembered and respected today as one of racing's all-time greats, a quiet, no-nonsense competitor who represented the sport well, both on and off the race course. In honor of his extraordinary achievements in the sport of unlimited hydroplane racing, the Hydroplane and Race Boat Museum is proud to induct Ron Musson into the Unlimited Hydroplane Hall of Champions.